My name is Charlie Seabrook and I'm going to show you one of our newest intercepts from the Ikari deposit here in, in northern Finland. Uh, this is hole 121160 um, that in fact had two, two really well mineralized intercepts. This is the first one um, and was uh, 80 meters at 2.5 grams per ton gold. Um, and you can see here that it starts in quite a sort of barren looking zone of, of weathered ultramafics, although every time you get a little intercalation of a little sedimentary unit, you get pyrite associated with that, and that holds some grade as well. But in, in essential, essentially, you get a big broad sequence of barren ultramafics at the top of the hole, moving into the mineralized zone. Deformation picks up, strain picks up, you get a series of broken veins, um, quartz carbonate veins, and these host a certain amount of pyrite, Pyrite is disseminated through the host rock as well as into, into the veins themselves. Um, and, and as you move through that zone, deformation picks up, and where you get these finer, finer grain sediments being intercalated within that unit, within the ultramafics, you get increased pyrite and increased gold, particularly at the margins. You can see here there's a big burst of pyrite right at the margin of this sedimentary unit with this ultramafic unit and associated gold grains with that. So the zone continues with, with uh, veined and brecciated ultramafix intercalated with sediments. The amazing thing about this intercept in, these, in this hole is that it is so consistent. So you're getting multiple sedimentary unit intercalations within the ultramafix and it keeps going. Here you can start to see that there appears to be multiple phases of deformation. You're seeing cross-cutting cross later stage quartz veins and silicification and pyrite grades varying a little depending on whether you're near the margin of a unit or, or with, within it. Um, fine, grain, fine grain siltstones hosting a lot of the disseminated pyrite mineralization and getting good grains consistently at the margins of those units. Um, and as we continue through the hole, we then move out of the, the zone of the first intercept um, where you can see that we get good grades uh, right up to the margins and, and it starts to be a, a structural contact, brecciated contact um, with, with another barren ultramafic unit. And then the second intercept starts here, you go through the barren ultramafix, you get into a, a, a structural, structural contact with lots of brecciation uh, and veining, and this is where the second intercept starts. Hello, I'm Kalle Kotia, I'm a senior journalist at Rupert Resources, and I will walk you through a part of our headline intercept of 103 meters at eight grams per ton. So, the intercept starts from moving from the barren ultramafix for a gradual alteration, croyat alteration into a really structurally intense and really deformed rock unit. And it starts off with a fuchsite alteration still in the ultramafix. And this is where our grade already picks up. We start getting our late brixias, iron, iron oxide carbonate brixias with some pyrite and uh, some visible gold, visible gold even, and uh, that's a uh, future for this deposit. Then we move into a uh, siltstone, so a finer grained felsic sediment, which has abundant pyrite and lots of grade. And uh, we're still moving in, moving in the same rock unit, and uh, ultimately coming into quartzites, Lots of late brixias here, and then even further moving into the really, really high grade material we have. It's a kind of a mixture of early and late brixias with these red iron stained quartz veins, albedization, sericite alteration, tourmaline, and a lot of pyrite and a lot of gold. So it pretty much looks the same all the way. Intense deformation, intense brixias, intense veining, lots of pyrite, lots of grade. And it cross cuts different lithologies. We go through siltstones, quartzites, the ultramafix. We still have some over here. So it's not, not a lithological control, but, but a uh, structural control on this deposit. And now I'll hand over to Mano. Hey, I'm Manuel. I'm a geologist for Rupert Resources, and I will show you here. Uh, we continue with these in sediment intercalations. Uh, here we have a very nice conglomerate. It is a polymictic conglomerate that uh, has uh, early juvenile clasts of alter ultramafics and rounded quartz uh, clasts. And we can see here that um, we, we can see something that we will see 30 meters uh, after. 
downhole and it is a contact between the ultra matrix and the conglomerates that is so uh, high grade um, and a lot of alteration and a lot of things going on and the thing the fact that we see here same configuration and there indicates also that um, a structural control on this deposit and how the sequence is repeated and thickened um, we continue with this uh, ultramafix, alter ultramafix, uh, a lot of brecciation, a lot of hydrothermal alteration. It is uh, showing really good grades. And if, we, if you come with me at the other side, we can see again the same conglomerates we were looking at the other side. Uh, a lot of hematite veining, uh, a lot of pyrite, and it is also indicating gold grade. Uh, and here uh, we see the end of this uh, very good intercept uh, that is uh, at a contact with these uh, conglomerates and the ultramafix. After this point, the ultramafix uh, show a chlorit um, chloritic and fuchsitic alterations. Uh, and after this point, the uh, mineralization is more scattered and uh, ends up towards uh, north in the first six sediments.